this is a 2021 uh, forerunner even though it's new i'm gonna do this anyway and i'm hoping i've got this camera set where you guys can see it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but we're gonna nonetheless we're gonna see what happens i took the tool up in here and cleaned all of these areas all right so with that said we're gonna come over here i'm going to any part that i may touch with the uh film purpose or accident i go ahead and prep it to where i can get this spot on clean uh, you pop this one little cover out with the pick tool i go right here take one phillips head screw out right here I'll we'll pop this out most times i'll pop this piece right here off just to get down in there so when i pop the seal back i don't risk breaking anything so i use these on plastic or nylon tools pop this back you got a couple of push pins there this one really doesn't require a tool to get in there i'm gonna roll the door panel back just a little bit i'm gonna grab the seal i'm gonna pull it right up out of the door the seal's out but we're gonna see so i'm gonna step back i'm gonna try to bend down where you guys can see what we got here we got the panel on there all right in the winter time i do what i call a two bottle method especially if you're doing two stage top loading even bottom loading oh it really helps i'm gonna roll this window all the way up because these toyotas always have a sticker on them i wet the where the sticker goes just a tad i rock the blade just to push it off that way you're not pushing so much pressure on it that you could slip jab and cut the people's rubber even though you scraped it there's no better tester than your fingers and uh, on new vehicles i will fill the window with my hand if i feel any hard spots or any imperfections in it then i may get the razor blade out and scrape it but uh most times i use these white scrub pads these are 100 percent made in the usa We just, uh, we try to go that route when we can. I'm getting this thing scrubbed up, cleaned up. I'm gonna ease the window down just a little bit. I always hang the, the scrubby, scrubby over the top edge, clean that top edge, come back over and there again. We always use a uh, lint-free, this is 100% lint-free rag. This is actually a glass cleaning rag. I'm gonna go across the top here, clean that. Now I'm gonna take my uh, rag, rub across the top. We've got that fixed up. Wipe my squeegee blade off. Hit it one more time. These door panel covers are a little tricky when the switches are on top like they are on this one. But uh, nonetheless, it's worth a little extra effort to take care of them. I like a, uh, a blue little foot to go up in these corners and rake this stuff out. We have two or three other tools that we use when we're prepping. I'm gonna ease this one down, I'm gonna get that edge. That edge, go across the top. Now we're ready to load this thing. Now this bottle here has my standard soapy solution, 10 milliliters of solution per 32 ounce. And I always hang my film upside down and spray it. And if you notice, I'm just spraying the top half of this solution. This solution is one third of the amount of slip as the other has. And I spray this top, which on here, it looks like the bottom is the top, which is where I'll be bonding it to the top of the window. I'll mist it slightly. Run our finger up under here. We don't want to touch the adhesive side of the, the film. So we slide that front part off in there. Just 
like this. And then the back part will rock it off in there, just like this, so it doesn't touch anything. We're in the house there and here. And I take my fingers in the middle and I use my fingertips because if you put your palms on there, you can lock this film in with this uh, real light solution we have on top and make it bond prematurely. But it does fit pretty good. The back fits really well and the front fits well, but the pattern is too big in the center. And by the way, this is a plotter cut. I'm gonna take the side winder, I'm gonna start here in the center and hold the film to the window with my thumb so we don't move it or rotate it up or down to cause any premature puckers or anything like that. So we got that. Same thing here. To take care of your tools, you don't run your blades up over the film and catch the edge. You can uh, damage the edge of your blade. Now this is a sledgehammer extractor put in this little handle. Uh, choice there. This is a dehydra, general purpose squeegee. Uh, we like it. Really plants the film. Does a great job. And what I'm doing now is going ahead and getting the bottom half on down because once we shave this top, we're putting the window up and uh, we're going to be good to go. That's in. I'm gonna lock this top down with the sledgehammer. This blade right here has done about 950 cars. This is one of the, most, the original handles, whole setup. It's, it's uh, same materials we use now, just a different cut. This is a, sp a specific cut that I like and I use. <clears throat> this thing, like I say, is an extractor. It glides on the glass and the film like nothing else out there and it removes all the water, especially in the winter time. So, run this up one more time. This up, I'm gonna dock this edge just a little. Just be sure we've got all the moisture out. <clears throat> this is a uh, 30 degree carbon blade. We've got a piece of heat shrink tube over the end of the knife. And then we've put a uh, piece of Teflon over, or tape around it to make it glide. What this does, it keeps the, the knife from scratching the uh, keeps the knife from scratching the the film, and it lets it glide against the top of the film. So we're at right around a 45 angle against the glass, and that gives us that edge where you don't feel no edge on the window where it's not going to catch. So that means you're good to go. All right, we're going to ease this window up. We're about to finish it off. We'll take the side winder, go straight down with it. The cool thing about the side winder, that tip lets you feed all the way up to the edge up in here. And uh, you can take your favorite corner tool, tuck tool, or whatever, and finish that off up in there. We'll go along the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our cover. You can see our panel's still dry. That's the beauty of those. Really no water on it except for the corners here. I'm gonna take the sledgehammer and we're gonna hammer this thing down. Okay guys, the window's finished up. Finished off on the bottom. There's our shaved edge. Turned out real nice. And we're gonna put the seal back in. You always make sure your lip is turned upwards. And when you hear somebody talking about you gotta get below both seals, there's two lips. This being one, this being the other. So this is why we recommend you pull the seal or you drop the film an inch down below it because every time it rolls up and down, your film is gonna catch on this slip right here. It's gonna be doing this every time. So the chances of failure increase by 50% if you don't go below the rubber seal. Some will disagree with that. After 35 years, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna slide this, this piece of seal back in here. Bring this thing over here. 
We're gonna lean this back, drop it down on top of the, the metal runner down through here. Then we just pop the door clips back on. We put this back when it has a little clip on the back. So the front will go in first and the back, or the back will go in first and the front will rock in just like this. Snaps up in there. We're going to put our screw back in. Like I say, we're just going right backwards from when we took it apart. I don't recommend running that drill wide open. Just ease it up in there. Use it for what it's for. It's not a torque wrench. Pop your seal in. The front goes in first and the back snaps right in just like that. Now we're gonna ease the wind up. And there again, here's your shaved edge all the way across through here. The window's finished up. It's a nice clean install. 